in the heart of the word. Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the daily readings from the Holy Mass. Friday of the second week of Lent, cornerstone of the new temple. God bless you, dear family. Today in the heart of the word, Jesus is in Jerusalem and teaches a parable. He says, there was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a long journey. When time to harvest the grapes was near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain the produce. First he sent a servant, and then another, but the tenants beat them, another they stoned, another they killed. Then he sent more servants, and the tenants treated them the same. Finally he sent his own son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this one is the heir, let's kill him, take the inheritance for ourselves, and they killed him. Then Jesus asks, what will the owner of the vineyard do to the tenants? And someone responds, he will put them to death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who respect him and bear a fruitful harvest. Jesus then says, do you ever read in the scriptures, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? For the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to others who will produce its fruit. My brothers and sisters, this parable is clearly talking about the history of God with Israel. The landowner is the Lord. The vineyard is Israel. The hedge and the tower are the Torah that protects Israel from her pagan neighbors. The tenants are the leaders of the people. The wine press is the harvest of holiness that Israel should produce through her fidelity to the Lord. The servants who come to collect the harvest are the prophets. Amos, Hosea, Daniel, Haggai, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Malachi, John the Baptist, and finally the beloved son, who is Jesus. The parable is a summary of God's history with Israel that culminates in the passion and death of Christ. And what about the stone? For the rabbis, a stone is the only substance that cannot be made unclean. It represents purity. A stone is also not living. Jesus is the stone rejected by the builders, the pure victim, the suffering servant rejected by the leaders and executed by the Romans. And Jesus risen from the dead is the cornerstone of the new temple of the church. And this temple is wonderful in our eyes because it is open to all who believe in Jesus and are reconciled to God through him. My brothers and sisters, the kingdom of God is the vineyard of the church, the temple of living stones, men and women who are not afraid to profess their faith in Christ and their love for the Blessed Mother, who trust in God's mercy, believe in his word, who defend his commandments and live the gospel, and who joyfully serve in the vineyard each day for the harvest of eternal life. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. We have the vocation to evangelize the world, to give testimony to the world that God is love. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.